So, here we are again for some more. In this case, not clamorous. I'm assuming this is skirmishes, although it could be stronghold since we see both teams. So that's the only thing I know. Uh, so it's not clamorous for sure. Between Vito and Fame, I did not watch this game at all since until now everything I got from Vito was pretty awesome content. Thanks a lot for you guys. Really, it's really, really awesome. And this time they're taking out um, Fame. There's actually a bunch of guys I know in the Fame team, which is pretty hilarious. Um, so we are on. What's this map called again? Fuck me. Arctic region. Uh, with two 113s, three fives, two bat chats, and a bunch of Russian mediums, and one RT4 Vito. And a pretty similar setup for Fame with two 113s, three 215Bs, one E5, 150B, one bat chat, one Neopard, a bunch of Russian mediums, a 263, and an RT. M53 against Conqueror. At this point of the game, it shouldn't really matter. A uh, really nice spotting position is taken by Vito. This batchat position allows you to spot literally anything crossing over here, except maybe batchat, but like literally anything else. And you can even shoot them from there, which is, well, pretty OP. And this batchat allows you to get some spots on this, unless they really have the red line. Um, in case you are confused where that batchat is standing exactly, he is in the bush, at least he was when he was spotting, uh, which is next to the drop down there. Hoping that helps you <laughs> on the edge of the water. So yeah, one batch at over there. Vitra is still keeping five, four Russian mediums back in defense in some nice hold down positions. Really, really good positioning. Only thing I would maybe add is one medium like literally hugging the K line over here to get better angle into that. But otherwise, like two guys up here is perfect. You don't want more. You want one or two. And you want something with turret armor. And these two guys can use um, some nice bushes and some nice hot cover there. Sending back half the team, I guess? three mediums more, one E5 more, and pushing with four heavies and the batch on the other side. Which is pretty risky, but I like it, I like it. Yeah, it looks like famous down here with everything, but f you can't push out of this. Like, there's just no way you're crossing this open field, I think. You can try, if you really want to, I guess, to get one or two more mediums where that Leo part is, basically. But that's about all you can do. In all honesty. You know, if you get spotted early. Which they did, so yeah. So, okay, on the other side, not much going on. I really like what Vita is doing though. Barney's heading up here to snipe, sending only the batch up forwards to get down low and then spot from there. Not engaging all the heavies, because as long as the heavies stay back there where they are, if all these tanks relocate here, they have cross shots on this, so these heavies can't get pushed. Really, really nice play of map control. It's the um, Little things that make a difference. I really, really like it. Being one iron seven on there to spa, maybe work a bit on the neo part. And basically, fame it looks is camping between this and this, maybe this, but I mean they're definitely camping in here. But I even think they're just standing in the whole down part here and in here, with maybe one or two tanks over there. Which is actually camp, which is pretty hard to break as long as you don't have two RTs. like. The rule on Arctic region is if you have one RT, you need to get it to the like you need to scout out exactly where the enemy is. Um, by the way, this is a skirmish, not a strong attack, so the time was 50 minutes. Okay, so they're pushing down there. Famous pushing down there with mediums, and getting wrecked by all these snipers up here, which are really well positioned and apparently, well, they have to be spotted. That's two. Make it be two. Yep, two mediums and one k HP in damage for one bat shot. So that's a pretty great trade for a reader. No question asked. And what, what the fuck are you doing, mate? I guess that 907 was convinced he's unspotted. But as you can see, well, he wasn't. And he goes down to making it a 3 for 2 trade because 1 113 did get sniped by this point. By an unspotted 50p. But I must say, I really don't understand that point of pushing this medium sound there. I mean, that Batchet is a pain in the ass. But why the fuck would you suicide three mediums to kill the Batchet? I really don't get it. Anyway, so famous deciding it's got enough of camping and wants to push the north, which, since there are only three tanks left at this point, is a decent idea. Especially since all the sniping mediums, which right now could have wrecked, are down to only 25. Which I guess is a bit lucky, but I mean... Lock the part of it, what the fuck? Oh, okay. There we go. Fixed camera activated. Crossing over there. 
Still, those heavies are going to be really hard to push, and all those mediums are taking the complete shortcut, leaving only the batch to take care of the STB, I'm assuming. Well, all the mediums do now have side shots. Ah, oh, wow, that's looking bad. I think that 205B is going to get so wrecked. Come on, prove me right. Yep. Okay, good. I'm happy now. <laughs> nice blind shot. I bet that hit. Wow. I really, I must say, like, I mean, what v is doing is pretty close to perfection. Literally. Not saying from the single player point of view, but whoever the warning did, like, huge big up, really nice play of really nice coordination, nice ideas, not sending out tanks on their own, and disciplined team too, not doing too much bullshit. And I don't really know what Fame is doing, like, in all honesty. I mean, okay, you know, in defense of Fame, Arctic region is a cancerous map, and this side is definitely better than the other one, uh, other than Fame's. But still, kind of wobbling around from one side to the other. Doing nothing, throwing three mediums away and then going for pretty Yoda push, which I'm still lucky is working as well since all the mediums were in the move in the exact second they pushed. Just giving my opinion. Anyway, a couple of the mediums did die by now, so did a couple of the heavies, but Fame is not going to be able to break that position in the north and are all now locked down in the base, and this game is over, basically. I'd like to, you know, throw in some false hype, but I do not see how they could win this. Vitor has RD, Vitor has map control, they have a bunch of HP still, as far as I can see. And even if all the remaining fame tanks would be for life, I mean, Vitor can just spot with two mediums on each side, keep all the heavies in, in support, sniping behind and work with RT for another 8 minutes and 34 seconds. So. To speed up real quick, well, our brave heartbreaking E5 drives forward. Okay, getting bored. I hope this doesn't lag. Tell me, actually, am I able to do like times two, times four stuff, or does that make the video completely lag? I'm actually did not test that, or at least not recently. Wow, wow, that snapshot. <laughs> okay, but anyway, yeah, this is just clean up now. One shot SCB, one shot two six three. So that's that. And, oh, really, really well played by V2 once again. Really, really liking the tactics, and keep those replays coming, guys, because I'm really enjoying casting these, like, it's not just super close games, or, okay, not just, you know, bashing better clans or whatever, which, obviously, you know, everyone, when you win against Fame, you want to show it off. And just because you're probably going to see a buttload more wins against Fame than from Fame, because everybody's going to send me the wins against Fame, and no one, or no one from Fame has sent me any replays yet, I think. The, the tactics are really, really great. So, really, I have to just say that once more. Thanks for watching.